So when you're choosing a statistical test to use for your independent variable, think t for two, f for few, and r for relationship. Another mnemonic, also from Stalder and Olson 2011, the article t for two, has to do with your dependent variable and what kind of scale it's measured on. What kind of scale your dependent variable is measured on will also determine which statistical test would be appropriate. The mnemonic that Stalder and Olson use is no ironing, N-O-I-R, no ironing. The one I uh, like to use when I was in school was noir, as in film noir. Some of the time studying statistics I felt pretty uh, bleak and dreary and dark about it, and that is what film noir is. So use either mnemonic to remember these four letters which will represent measurement scales. You can measure <coughs> excuse me, a dependent variable on a nominal scale. Nom means name. And that means you're just naming or labeling what you're measuring. And if you assign it a number, that number is not meaningful. I could call red one, green two, and blue would be three. But that doesn't mean that one is bigger than two is bigger than three. They're colors. It's apples and oranges. So think of a nominal scale of measurement. The only thing it tells you is the name. And that means it's telling you a category that something falls into or a type. You cannot necessarily rank data that you measure on a nominal scale. All you've done is put it in categories. The next type of scale is ordinal. Think of ORD, and that stands for order. So all that means is when you measure something, you're putting things in order. You're ranking them from highest to lowest. So for example, a team's standing in football. They might have a ranking of one, the next team has a ranking of two, etc. And this type of data, it both names and orders what you're measuring. It gives it a name, but also an order. You can't necessarily tell if it's only ordinal how far apart the first and second and third ranked items are. The first football team in a given year might be way ahead of the second, and then the second might be just a little bit ahead of the third. All the ranking does is it puts things in orders. There's no implication of how far apart the items are, only which is above which is above which. So it orders your data. It puts it in a ranking. But the intervals in between may not be equal. The next measurement scale is interval. An interval scale has equal intervals in between different items. So on an interval scale, a 2 is twice as much as a 1. A 10 is twice as much as a 5. A 3 is three times as much as a 1. The distances in between items are meaningful and equal. So with an interval scale, you're not only naming and giving order to your data, you know what's higher than what, you also know how far apart things are from each other. Okay, so it's equal distances between scores. And then we have a ratio scale. I think of ratio and I pick out the O and think zero. It has a meaningful zero. So I'll give you an example. How many dollars in the bank account? It could be zero and that would mean something. That would be a ratio scale. A ratio scale not only names it and gives it an order, you know what's higher than what, it also has equal intervals, so how far apart things are actually uh, matters and it's objectively equal in between the numbers. And then there's also an absolute zero on a ratio scale. So you want to remember NOIR because with each of these you're adding more information that you're measuring. With nominal, all you're measuring is the category or the name or the label. With ordinal, you're not only naming things, but you're putting them in order. With interval, you're naming and ordering, but also putting things in meaningful distances apart from each other. And on ratio, you're not only naming, ordering, and having equal intervals, but there's an absolute zero. An example of an interval scale um, would be temperature. 
there's no meaningful zero. Numbers can go negative. Okay, the other thing you need to know is scale variables are the interval and ratio. Those are scale variables.